Hey guys, I'm LB, and we are going to check out 6x6 Tower, who, according to the author, is supposedly more challenging than the Portal 2 single-player campaign. But, we shall see. We shall judge for ourselves. The description just says, hope you enjoy. Let's get started. Alright. Is this a dropperless cube? Because this- that's what it looks like to me. We have a fizzler up there. This looks very much, alarmingly, like a dropperless cube that could be fizzled. Is this another dropperless cube? You know dropperless cubes are bad, right? What do we have going on here? Why- why is this the thing that I'm doing? Huh. Why is this the thing that I'm doing? Is this... is this intended, or am I breaking the map by doing this? Come on now. Well, this is... this is annoying. Yeah, I don't think... I don't think I'm gonna be able to get that to work anytime soon. Hmm. What if I do it from the other one? Is this easier to do? Oh, it's much easier. Not much a fan of that, honestly, though. Yeah, I guess the dropless cubes are okay since you can't actually fizzle them at all. Still, I generally consider dropless cubes to be a bad habit. Yeah, I guess they're okay in this case. But, uh, this first part wasn't really much of a puzzle. I mean, it was definitely some creative thinking with that, but I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Maybe you guys can tell me this in the comments or something, what you guys think about that, because I do not know how I feel. Interesting. I think we want to set things up so we'll bounce off the wall there. That's a long timer. Wow. Why is that such a long timer? I mean, I'm not complaining about it being a long timer, it's just... <laughs> why is it such a long timer? Hmm. Probably want bounce gel there as well, right? And then I can get out of there easily enough, supposedly. Yeah, here we go. So now we're in here. Guess we don't need the bounce shell anymore, at least I hope not. We can spray it everywhere while we still have it, I suppose. Hmm. Where does this take us? Oh, quite a ways. So I guess we want the light bridge to stop us, or otherwise redirect us. Something... something like that, perhaps? Yeah, that works. But... now what? I thought I saw a cube dropper somewhere, I don't remember where, though. We need to hit that now? I wonder what that does. Oh, well, that's, let's pretend I didn't just fall between the gap here. Did not realize that my hitbox was that small. I heard a flip panel somewhere, but I don't know where that happened. What did I just accomplish? There's no signage on this, so I don't know what this did. Yeah, there's no signage, so I have no idea why I pressed that button. Layering. Hmm. Let's, let's try this again. Did anything up here change? Oh, this is what changed. Okay. This is gonna be tricky. There we go. There we go. Problem solved. I probably could've used bounce gel there, but whatever. 
Is this another dropperless cube? Hmm... What were all these other buttons for? Like, what does that do, and... What does half of this stuff do? Yeah, I can bring this cube to this fizzler, so... that's a problem. That is definitely a problem right there, I can fizzle that cube if I wanted to. So it shouldn't- it should have a dropper, but I don't see a dropper anywhere, and I- What were the, what was that button for? I don't remember pressing that button, I don't remember using that. I don't know- I'm not sure what half of this stuff is for. Hopefully I don't need it up here, at least. Maybe... actually I... maybe might? What's the signage on this? This button doesn't have any signage. I can't, I don't even know why I would want to press this button, because it doesn't have any signage on it. Hmm... Well, this supposedly turns on a laser, right? Yeah... It's up there. I'm guessing the exit or something? Okay, let's go... I don't know, let's take this cube and see if we can get a laser cube. Another cube, I mean, or something. What does this do? Did this do anything? I hear something. I don't know what this is doing. I have no idea what that's doing. What happens when I press this? Oh, there is a cube! I should've just pressed that button! <laughs> Alright, well... Let's, uh, let's do things like any reasonable person would. What does that do? Huh? Why would I want to do that? I have no idea what's going on right now. Just- just so we're clear, I'm not sure what half of this stuff is for, as I've said already. Oh, hey, look at that. Well, that trivializes stuff, doesn't it, now? So that's what that did. Well, that's not where I wanted that to be, but whatever. That's fine. It's fine. This is fine. There we go. Problem solved. So far... I would not consider this to be more challenging than the single-player campaign. It's just got more test elements than the single-player campaign. There's a bit of a difference there. So that reverses the funnel. When does that come in play? Ah, oh, with that? I see. Hmm... Let's go investigate what's up here first. Huh. Why, though? Oh, I guess to push ourselves up, maybe? Not quite how I wanted things to work out. Let's- let's try this a different way. Here we go. There we go. No idea... how much I'm breaking this, but it feels like I'm breaking it a lot. <laughs> Alright. That allows us to press this. Which does... what exactly? Oh, it opens that. Okay. I guess when you go up there, right? Do we need to bring the regular cube with us at all? Um...
Okay. Was... Well, I think... I think that cube just got fizzled. <laughs> oh well. Yep, I think that cube just got fizzled, so... There's no going back. No going back at this point. That cube got fizzled too. Oh well. Hope I didn't need those. What in the world? What- what is even happening right now? Okay. So, I think my goal is just to press those buttons, right? Do I have to press them all? I have to press them all in quick succession? That's... that's not very nice. I'm not a fan of that, I do not like that at all. It's mostly just annoying. Ah. Yeah, that's really just an annoyance, more than anything. Ah. Yeah, there's no way... no way around it but to do it the annoying way. Okay, so the middle one has a longer timer, so let's... How long is this one? Ah! I really hate this. I hate this so much that I'm not even gonna do it, because this is just obnoxious. Do not do that in your map, ever. Alright. Cause there's nothing- there's nothing puzzly about that, that's not a logical puzzle, that's just dexterity, that's just ninja moves and can you do it fast enough. I do not like that at all. Alright, what does this do? Why is this a thing? I didn't actually need that, but okay. What was the edge of safety cube for again? Oh, for the slip panel, okay. I see. Alright, oh, I guess because of the gel. I guess it is a nice convenience, because the gel makes it really hard to maneuver in the air. What in the world? Hmm. Why though? Like, this isn't- this isn't even a puzzle, this is just, can you walk on a light bridge? And it drops a cube? For us to open the door with, I suppose? I said, get on the button, please. Oh my goodness. There, close enough. And then you want me to do what now? That's it? Okay. Yeah, I was not a fan of this. It was not more challenging than the single player campaign. It just had a lot more test elements and a lot more frustration. So what I would recommend is that you should check out Demon Arisen's YouTube series on how to make great test chambers, and also look at Rectorox's guide. I'll put links in the description. But, uh, yeah, generally, you want to avoid frustrating and stuff like that, you want to avoid dropperless cubes. And most of this wasn't really a puzzle. That's- that's the main problem, is that most of it wasn't a puzzle. It's like- like this especially. This is just walking around on a light bridge, there's no puzzle here at all. Walk around on a light bridge, you press a button, and you walk around on the light bridge some more. And that- that just kinda gets boring, like, if I wanted to play 
a walking simulator with a good story, I would do that. I wouldn't play a puzzle game with no story at all. <laughs> anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching, I'd really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!